Picking up this needle with my bare hands would put me at risk for an exposure to bloodborne pathogens. This is a safer way to pick up a needle. By using this hemostat, the needle never touches my skin. This is a simple example of a proper work practice control. Work practices such as using hemostats instead of bare hands to pick up a dropped needle reduces risk of exposure. Other safe work practices include limiting the surfaces touched and practicing consistent hand hygiene. Engineering controls reduce employee exposure by either removing or isolating the hazard or isolating the worker from exposure. Engineering controls for bloodborne pathogens are more prevalent in the healthcare industry because most of them have to do with the use of sharp devices such as needles and scalpels. Self-sheathing needles, needleless systems, puncture-resistant disposal containers for contaminated sharp instruments, resuscitation bags, and ventilation devices are examples of engineering controls. In non-healthcare industries, the emphasis for protection is on proper work practices and personal protective equipment. It's important to note that this is the employer's responsibility to ensure that safe work practices are used by establishing written safety procedures and by providing proper training and supervision.